Ah, good morning guys, or should I say good evening, I don't know. It's uh, 1.30 in the morning or night or whatever, uh, in the middle of the summer. And I'm gonna go river fishing for some pike and perch. Uh, the focus is gonna be pike to start with, I think, but then we'll see if we can uh, do some perch fishing as well. Uh, like you can see, it doesn't really get darker than this during Swedish summer, which is a great thing. You can <laughs> play with your family or work or whatever during the days and then go fishing during the nights. And we're gonna do some combined uh, pike and perch uh, fishing. I'm gonna start with a pike and see if we can catch some big ones. And we'll just, uh, yeah, see what happens. I've fished this place a few times. I made a video here uh, also with some topwater fishing last year. You can check it out up here. I know it's a good place. Big fish has been caught here. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna start with some pike. See if we can contact with some big fish. I'm just gonna rig up my gear and uh, Get started right away. I'm gonna play it safe. Start with this one, Hooligan Roach, uh, Smoky. Great silhouette, great movement, makes a lot of vibrations in the water. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start with this one, fish it shallow rigged here in this river. So pumped to do this. I'm gonna rig this baby up and uh, get going. Let's go. Rattle. Always feels nice. Just getting everything in order. Ready for action. Right, let's go. We're fishing an eddy of this river where we have quite deep water. We have 15 meters in there that we mapped out last time I was here. But I'm still gonna start fishing quite shallow since the pike are usually looking upwards when hunting, especially during the dark hours. After that, if we don't catch anything, I might go down a bit deeper. So it's like soon two o'clock and I'm gonna fish until maybe eight. I'm gonna go home and have some breakfast. So it's gonna be Quite a short morning trip and we'll see if we can catch anything. I mean fishing is fishing, especially when going for a big fish like we do today. You might end up catching nothing basically, but we have the chance to catch a big one and we're guaranteed to have a good time. I mean every time fishing is a good time, isn't it? So we're just gonna keep hammering this eddy and uh, hope for the best. Hope that we're not get eaten alive by mosquitoes and that our lure gets eaten alive by a big pike instead. That would be something. Fish on! Yeah! Yay! First pike is on the hook. Wow, right in front of my feet almost. Whoa! Didn't take too long. Beautiful night pike here in the river. It's by no means a big fish, but first fish is always the first fish. Uh, take it easy. Nice and strong river girl. Well, look at that. First pike is on the shore. Wow. First one. No monster, but still super strong, aggressive, hard fighting river pike on the smoky, the darkler. Tactic proved well. So much fun. I'm gonna unhook this lady so she can swim back nice and securely. Boom, last glimpse of her. Right back. So cool pattern. All right, bye bye, beauty. Come on. Ah. Nice. Whew. Took like five minutes to catch the first one. So let's hope they're all and biting. That's, uh, that's really good. I mean, I was prepared to catch nothing today. So this is a great start. I'm just gonna get this messy guy back in order and keep casting this eddy. I did exactly as I said. I fished uh, this guy shallow over deep water and the pike came up and took it like it was a cheeseburger. Now we just want the big mama of that pike. I know she swims around this, in these waters, so I'm super pumped to keep casting this guy. For being a pike that size, she gave me a crazy fight. Can't imagine what will happen if we catch some someone twice or three times her size, and we're in for a ride. 
I love all seasons here in Sweden, but there's something special to summer. Then we get payback for the, the lack of light during the rest of the year. Now it's light all day round. So, it's quite fair. Fish jumping in the surface over here. I think it might have been a pike munching on bait fish. Holy macaroni! Oh, that felt so freaking big! Oh! No! No, 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 no! Not okay! Not okay! Look what she did! So, not okay! Ah! I saw a pike hunting in the surface, cast it there, and boom! Hardest take of the year! Oh my freaking god. Not even a little bit. Well, this is really turning out to be a great day. Crap, 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 crap. We're gonna try some small top water, see if we can catch some uh, perch or pike as well. The last time I was here, I had some really cool top water action, so we're gonna try a few casts before moving on. And now the sun is coming up as well. There's nothing like a good topwater bite in the sunrise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pike chasing, pike chasing. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. That's cool. Probably a pike. Wow, <laughs> exactly now when the sun is coming up. Things like that really gets your pulse pumping. Yeah, fish on. Fish on, it's a small perch, I think. Lovely. My first topwater fish of the year. On this uh, small strike pop. Top water is just so much fun. And now I'm gonna. Oh, there's more fish chasing here. Wow, I need to be fast. See you. No more action on the popper. So I'm gonna try to switch to a jig. See if we can catch some more. Gonna try this uh, new monkey shad from Mwar. Great all round perch jig. Uh, a bit slower moving paddle than, than many other jigs. So it should be good now if they're a bit slow. 15 gram head, I'm gonna try. <sighs> Setting a sink to the bottom and just jumping it like this. Jump, jump. Fish on. A decent perch and a monkey shad. She wanted that one. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see if there are more. It's just so much fun combining pike and perch fishing like this. And usually they hang around the same areas. I mean, they, they eat the same food and like the same type of places. So it's very easy to combine. Time to move. Fish on. Wow. Decent perch here on the monkey shed. Whoa, fun fish. Boom, no monster, but still fun fights on this uh, light gear. Oh wow, striped warrior. Look at that. Now let's see if we can catch some more of these before going home. Bye bye. This little guy. Well, let's see if there are more out there. Fish on. Oh yeah. This feels like a nice perch. Or pike. Probably pike. Get up here. Yeah, must be pike. No, it's a sander. 
Oh my God, it's a sander. What? That's my first ever sander in this river. Wow. How amazing is that? Whoa. It's a beauty. <laughs> Whoa. What a surprise. <laughs> oh man. Such an awesome surprise. Look at that fat, fat, fat sander. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that smoke that monkey shed. Close to personal record, sander. I don't know what she weighs, but she's nice and fat. Like a giant version of a perch. Like a bass perch. That's a Swedish Grand Slam. Pike, perch and sander in one day. Oh man. That's such a cool fish. Look at that. So mysterious, beautiful, fat. Come on, buddy. Bye bye, beauty. Oh my God, that was fun. What an awesome surprise. That's why we go fishing. You never know what's gonna happen. So we caught pike, perch and sander today. That's awesome. I've never done that before in one day, I think. No, I haven't. So my first Swedish Grand Slam on the Monkey Shad. It's uh, soon eight o'clock, time to go home soon, but I might have time to catch uh, some more fish. But if not, that was an awesome ending. But we'll uh, take a few more casts and see if we can catch something more on this little shad. Fish on. Feels like a decent perch, I would say. Yep. There we go. Yeah, it's a nice perch. Boom. So much fun. Oh, she's been chewed on. Hm. Bye bye. Well, that was it for today. It's eight o'clock. Time for me to head back home to my family. I've had an awesome time by the water, got some nice pike in the beginning and then some nice uh, perch as well and a sander to top it off. So much fun, really cool. Uh, I thought that I would run a giveaway of one pack of this uh, new perch jig from MWAR, the Monkey Shad. So leave me a comment on why you would want one of these and I'll, I will pick, uh, let's make it three of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you aren't already, make sure to subscribe up there. And uh, if you have a tackle shop or if you want your local tackle shop to start selling these lures that we produce and sell, please uh, send us an uh, email and we will figure out the details. That way you can support this channel. Thank you so much. See you guys next time.